What's going on YouTube? Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, coming back with another video today. And today I want you to b see the other side of college football. Uh, not really what you would expect for a uh, dynasty, but this is what I'm going to be doing uh, for my offline dynasty. I don't have an online dynasty yet. Uh, if you guys have an online dynasty that you guys are looking for somebody to get into, I would love it. Just, you know, get a little friendly competition down. But uh, before we get into the gameplay, I would like to talk about, you know, what I'm doing and how I've done it. Uh, just basically giving you the insight of each college that I'm playing um, and what I'll be doing as far as this team and everybody else in our conference. Right now, uh, as you see right now, I'm playing Southern Illinois University. Their nickname is the Salukis, and they're from, let me look again. Uh, they're from Carbondale, Illinois. Uh, I don't know how close that is to Chicago. Uh, but I guess I would I would guess it's uh on the map. Yeah, it's way down there. It's uh Carbondale's right near the Missouri border. It's I would say it's closer to St. Louis than it is Chicago. So I mean it's it's far down there. And um, Missouri Valley team without a doubt. Uh, I don't know how good they are for a football team, but I know they're nothing compared to Northern Iowa. So. You know, I'm I'm trying to gloat a little bit. It seems like, but you know, when your team's in the top five every year in Division One, Two A, you kind of have a reason to gloat. And uh, these guys are also in a basketball conference as well. Uh, we don't, you know, I don't think they're much of a basketball team either. They're not not much of an athletic school. I think they're more of an ac academic, but they do have a sports program, and you got to respect that. And a little bit of knowledge for Northern Iowa. Uh, they're located in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Forgot you guys who didn't know. Um, Cedar Falls is also f like 45 minutes away from my hometown. Not even. So, I mean, it's a quick drive down there to the Uni Dome just to watch a Panther game. And these guys are fun to watch. I I've watched them last year when I on ESPN when they were playing Montana. And... You know, even though we got our asses co totally kicked, it was uh, it was bad for me to watch. I couldn't watch it. Um, but just to see them on ESPN on national TV like that, it really brought a smile on my face. And it really just, you know, me being living out in North Carolina and not being able to watch my teams whenever I want, you know, it, it sucks. It, it really does. And, you know, I don't get to, well... I guess the team that's closest to me that's I can watch would probably be the Buccaneers, but even then I only get, I only get to see them play when they're playing the Panthers. But uh, back to Northern Iowa, um, big uh, academic school and a athletic school. If you didn't already know, uh, again I'll leave the Wikipedia link for this school too down below. But they. Went to the NCAA tournament in basketball a couple years ago, and they played the number one seeded Kansas and beat them by just two points. And Northern Iowa was an eight seed, I do believe, and they came and upset them. The best team, one of the best teams in the country. I think they still had uh, the the Morris brothers. So I mean, that's a big upset. And to have them, you know beat the best team in the nation it really brought our school into light you know giving us some you know national attention and it was good for our schools especially since we're so small our campus is only 15,000 at best so compared to a school like Iowa and Iowa State where it's like 44 45,000 I mean we're, we're almost like people don't even see us as a big school or a school that's existed but this school is uh, very prideful and should be more noticed. And I'm not doing it to get noticed. It's just I'm playing them with them because I like this team. And this team has always, you know, played good football. And I'm glad for that. Because football to me is my favorite sport. 
If you didn't already know, you know, football is my favorite sport to play, watch, whatever. Football is a sport that you can play and, like, show off to your friends what kind of skills you got. And it's also a sport that you could just sit down, down and, you know, have a beer or eat some chips and pizza and, you, have, you know, have a good time. You know, football's been there for just about everybody. And if you if you don't agree, that's, you know, not that's not going to hurt my feelings. And... You know, it's just my opinion. You know, football's always been for, there for me. It's always, you know, brought a smile on my face. And as you see me right there getting the fumble recovery with under two minutes to go, that was a big play right there. That's that's huge. And back to the Northern Iowa th uh, football thing, you know, I hope they have big expectations for them this year. I really do. Big expectations. I'm hoping we can win a national championship. I mean, yeah, you may not see it as like Alabama winning the national championship, but it's still it's still a nice notoriety that we, you know, it's not going to get as much attention as Alabama, but we still want it, and that's something. So, you know, ho hopefully, you know, we can we play Wisconsin week one, and we got Iowa this this year too. So we got two big teams. We gotta go to and try and beat, and if we beat them, it would give us a huge lift. And you know, a lot of pe a lot of people that I was talking I was talking to, you know, about this game, saying, "Oh, Northern Iowa doesn't stand a chance." And I'm like, "You've obviously never seen them play, so how would you know? You you probably you didn't even know what Northern Iowa was until I told you." And they're like, "Yeah, you're right." And you know, I kind of show my pride off when I go to you know, places like the gym and I wear my Northern Iowa shirt. <laughs> so, you know, it's, I'm, I'm very prideful for my school and I'm always going to cheer them on. And hopefully, well, hopefully, um, they can do what they're worth this year. And another thing, my brother goes there and I'll leave his channel in the description too. Uh, I'm going to give him a birthday surprise. His birthday is right around the corner. And hopefully you get, uh, Hopefully you guys can just show him a little love and subscribe to his channel. I know he's not a sports gamer by any means, but you know he may he he would do good at commentating, and just, you know just show him a little love and su subscribe to him. You know show him that you guys are th there for him because I know he he's been talking about that. We've been talking about it for quite some time, and I know that he you know. He would love doing it. He's going to play, like, RPGs and stuff. If you like RPGs, go over there and subscribe to his channel. And, you know, he's only got five subs. Oh, well, I'm subscribed to him. My, fr my d friend Dylan subscribed to him. Um, but that's about it. And that's all I have for right now. That's all I can really talk about at this moment in time. As you see me there getting the interception on that user pick. And now we got, we're got we rolling right now. It's 31 nothing. This team wasn't very good from the outset. Uh, even though they're ranked above us, I don't know how, but, um, you know, when we started, uh, the ranking system, you could check all the rankings of see where you're at, and they put me at 110. I was, I was very angry about that, and they put this team at, like, 82nd, if I'm mistaken, but as you see me right there, Anderson gets in for the touchdown, and we're up 38 zip, it's out of hand at this point. And Southern Illinois has no answers for us. And now the quarterback's back to throw, and he gets off a screen pass. And the running back, he was actually doing pretty well. The quarterback and running back were doing pretty good. You know, I, I think if they would have ran more screen plays, they probably would have got me. They probably would have got a couple touchdowns. But, uh, you know, they just didn't continue to run the screen plays because right there, Swain gets the interception, and he's going to take it to the house. To the 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Northern Iowa. And the Unidome is just rocking. It's first down. And now we have a 45 zip lead. And now Diker throws another screen pass to the uh, his backup running back. And he gets a nice first down right there. So, I mean, uh, it's not, I wanted to hold the shutout. I really did. I mean, I was trying, my defense was trying to hold this shutout. It was really hard at, because 
with all the screen plays, it would just continue to run. And right there, they, I ran the zone coverage, which wasn't the smartest idea since sometimes the zone coverage can be kind of broken. And when I play, you know, this on offense, I can easily see out, uh, sometimes tell when they're running zone coverage before the snap's even, you know, broken. So, and that's how I get these easy touchdowns. Sometimes this, the zone coverage is just easy to read. And as you see, I'm running zone coverage again on 4th and 12. But this time, it actually worked out. Uh, the defender was right there to make the play. And we got him to uh, turn over on downs. And now I, Northern Iowa gets the ball on 3rd and inches. And my backup running back actually goes up and gets the first down. And now we're trying to run out the clock. But why not just try and run past the ball a couple more times as I throw it. To be my receiver and he gets a first down inside the 15 yard line and now we're trying to you know punch it in for a 52 point lead and I know I was rubbing in a little bit but you know when you're that close to the end zone you kind of just want to just punch it in you got that feeling that you just you know you don't want to hold the ball any longer you just kind of you know here, here's another six points and the running back right here he gets a big game right here I don't know what I was doing but, you know, that zone coverage, I'm telling you, he ran, they ran the perfect play for my defense. That could have not worked out any better for them. And, you know, I was still trying to hold this shutout with a minute and 25 seconds and counting. Quarterback's trying to change the play up a little bit. He's back to pass. He throws it just in time, and he gets it inside the five-yard line. And the shutout's in jeopardy for real this time. They've gotten close a couple times, but they ended up screwing up with that interception or a fumble. And this time, uh, now that they're inside the two-yard line, uh, they actually do punch it in. It's The shutout's broken. But what really pissed me off right here, this pissed me the off like crazy. They did the onside kick with a deficit of 45 points. Are you kidding me? A 45 point deficit and you're going to do an onside kick with a minute to go in the game. You must be crazy. But, you know, I just kind of decided to wind down the clock and that ended up being the final score, 52 to 7. And the interception right there, that ended up being the play of the game. I, I would definitely think so too, simply because uh, that was, even though it wasn't a momentum changer, it was definitely a surprise. And all the Northern Iowa ha fans in the Unidome leave happy as we start the season 1-0. and And now we got uh, South Dakota State next. And I will leave that in the next video of, you know, who they are and what they're all about. They're a pretty good football program. They, they're one of our biggest rivals. And, you know, uh, we're coming towards the end of the video. So I'm going to say, you know... Until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance. Stop by my Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, add me on Xbox Live. And uh, until next time, I'm Tim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm out of here.